Hi, this is your tech buddy from the mobile store and today we are here for the official unboxing of Nokia's latest introduction, Asha 502 exclusively for the mobile store. Here's the all new Nokia Asha 502, the latest phone in the Nokia Asha series. So on the front of the box there is a picture of the device to give you an understanding of how the phone looks and its new design that Nokia has embraced for Asha 502. The familiar polycarbonate now comes coated with a transparent material. Let's take a look at the back of the box. There is mention about Nokia Fastlane, Standby Time, Battery, Camera, Memory and Social Sharing features. Now let's open the box and see what we have inside. Here's the phone, Nokia Asha 502 wrapped in plastic. Let's remove the device from the plastic cover and keep it aside for a while so that we can see what else we have inside the box. As usual, we have some papers here which include the basic information about how to use the phone which we can figure out by ourselves and if needed we can take a look at it later on. Except for that we have a pair of earphones that can be used to enjoy some music on this device. Then we have a wall charger, sadly which cannot be used as a USB. And last but not the least, we have the 1010 mAh battery which provides power to the Nokia Asha 502. Now let's insert the battery into the device and take a look at the device itself. The first thing that is noticeable about the Nokia Asha 502 is its transparent cover. The transparent cover definitely adds a little jazz to this device. The Nokia Asha 502 seems to be a bit bigger in size than the Nokia Asha 501. The transparent fiber gives the phone a better look than the Nokia Asha 501. One more feature that differentiates the Asha 502 from the 501 is the home button. The home button is now capacitive and not as physical as it was in Asha 501. On the back of the phone, there is a 5 megapixel camera with LED flash and the Nokia branding which is where you would press to open the back cover. So when you remove the back cover, we have the battery we inserted to power the device. You will have to remove the battery to access the SIM 1 slot and on the side we have the SIM 2 slot right here. And on the other side we have the micro SD card slot along with the 4GB card. Now let's put the back cover back onto it nice and easy. On the top of the phone we have the charging port and a 3.5mm headphone jack. On the right side of the phone is the volume rocker and the power lock button. The touchscreen display is 3 inches supporting resolution of 320 by 240 pixels. Touch is smooth and responsive, supports orientation and double tap to wake up. There are two sensors, accelerometer and proximity. Screen supports two-point multi-touch. There are lots of swipe gestures to move out of an app, bring down the notification panel, contextual menu, etc. You have download links of few basic apps like WhatsApp, etc. Now let's check out the camera application. In this application, you can swipe to toggle between camera and video. You can press anywhere on the screen to take a photo. So while swiping, you need to be a little careful that you don't swipe from the edges or you might go back to the app grid. There are some games in it as well. Nokia still has good presence in the low-end phones because of its bold design, better hardware software binding and great battery life. So if you want to have a power-packed performer always ready to serve your needs, then Nokia Asha 502 is the phone for you. So that is pretty much everything you would want to know about the Nokia Asha 502. In conclusion, the Asha 502 is small but undoubtedly a mighty device. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. This phone is available on the mobile store website on easy EMI options. Log on to www.themobilestore.in or step into your nearest The Mobile Store outlet to have this fabulous device. Stay tuned to The Mobile Store's YouTube channel for more unboxing and review videos. This is your tech buddy signing out. Goodbye.